seeing what you guys are probably seeing. You guys are probably seeing this view right here. And you're going to simply click on preview and you will be able to see the floor plan view of your actual wall. And you want to switch that floor plan view to a section view. And let's define some of the things that we see on here. So these are called sweeps. Reveals are cutouts that cut into the wall. And that is another sweep. We have multiple regions, so meaning that the top is something. So this is wood shake. And if I select the other side, this is the siding, which is nine feet from the ground. These are multiple regions. That's my substrate, which is the plywood sheathing. And then we're looking at our main structure as the two by six stud, going all the way up to a half inch gypsum board wall. Now, in order for me to alter anything on this wall, I have to automatically keep going back to modify. This is something like the modify button when you are on the actual tab panel. So under the modify, uh, you select, select modify every time you want to reset out of it. You press OK to save. And I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit, hit cancel for now. And I'm going to make sure I duplicate this before I alter anything. So you do not alter any actual walls that are already out there. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this garage wall. Now, I can be very specific with this particular title because I know that this is only going to happen at Garage, but you can leave it as a generic name that you can continue using this wall. So now that we have the preview bar open, which is open through here, and I went under Section, Modify Attributes, I can add or delete sweeps by clicking on Sweeps. So these are the two sweeps I have. So when I select them, they will highlight. That's a sweep. Now, if I wanted to load in a sweep, I can click on Load Profile, and I can go under Profiles. These are profiles that automatically come with, um, with your Revit program. These are the set. I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel. In this particular case, I want to get rid of both of my sweeps. So instead of adding and loading profile, I can simply select these two sweeps and delete them. Okay. And I'm going to click apply. That way you cannot see the sweep and press OK. Now the next thing I want to do is since I'm going to be having one type of finish on the interior, I can technically get rid of this entire substrate or I can get rid of just this portion of the finish. In my particular case, I need to combine region and delete the whole region. Now, I'm going to show you that they both share. Like, for example, if I select wood shake and I sele uh, select clapboard, they are both sharing the same width, the 5 eighths of an inch, in this particular section. How I add and delete regions and I'll just show you that as an example let's just say that we have this substrate here that's plywood sheeting and we need shear in some portion of the wall and for value engineering reasons we can get rid of we can get rid of shear in certain other portions of the wall so let's go ahead and, and create a new layer I will simply click insert and I'm going to go ahead and click substrate substrate 2 or you can go to the drop-down menu and click Substrate 2. Category, let's pick Gypsum Board. Gypsum Wall Board. Press OK. And I will not specify the thickness because the program will automatically pick it up once I try to split region. So I'm going to go ahead and split region. I'm going to split region. Whenever you split region, it allows you to cut at any given point. I'll click, I'll click right along the point where I have the split region for this substrate. And what I'll do is, after I have selected my cut, I will click Modify again. Again, Modify is your reset when it comes to going in here. And this is only for the section preview. So now, I have my sheathing 
being split into two, but now it says variable here, and I didn't, I have not specified my gypsum wallboard. Now I'll assign layers. And it's asking me to assign layer, and it's, this is what is being highlighted. You can see this rectangle around substrate two, and I can select this as my gypsum board and press OK. Well, I'll just click off because I'm going to end up deleting it anyways. So this is one way to create multiple substrate. Now I'm, I can show you what that looks like. I have gypsum board up top and I have, I have um, plywood below. So that's one way to subdivide your wall into multiple regions, multiple sections along the way. Again, you can add a sweep and you can add it wherever you want to. You can reveal, you can create a profile or a cutout into your wall based wherever you want on the reveals. You can also move these. If I click on modify and I can just simply click on this and I can move this up or down based on where I want this division. Okay, and notice now that I have my substrate have not acquired a thickness. Rather, it is two substrates now that are occupying the same spot. Thing that you can do, I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel. The reason I click cancel was because I don't want everything that I just did on that particular file, of that particular wall modification to be saved. And all I wanna do at this point is to merge regions. Now, modify is the reset. Assign layers is when you're assigning which substrate you're, uh, what substrate it needs to be, what finish it needs to be. Split region, as I demonstrated, cuts that wall in half, cuts that structure in half so you can specify. Sweeps go along the side of the walls, reveals cut into the walls, and lastly we have merge regions. When you select merge regions, it allows you to select this point and it will tell you that you're merging the layer one and layer two together, which would be finish one and finish one, wood shake and clapboard siding, and it'll merge into one. When you merge into one, it particularly just turns into one substrate. The other one goes back down to the thickness of zero, zero. This becomes the parent, so you can change material there. In my case, I'm gonna come in here and delete this all together, so I can select delete. Again, another thing you wanna keep in mind, oh, my sweeps are back. Let's go ahead and select my sweep button select both of my sweep profiles i can do them one by one i can select multiple at once and press ok press ok and this is the garage wall it's nearly complete where now i'm all i'm going to do is make sure that the other side is a gypsum board and instead of wood shake siding here i'm going to go ahead and select my Chip board, you can type or browse through the uh, material browser. And now you, you even have multiple wall types that you can select and create. And you can specify the surface pattern, cut patterns, and foreground patterns. So that's my gypsum wall board. I should just delete both of these layers as well. And the idea being, I really don't need any substrate on this wall. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the plywood sheathing out. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and switch that to a half inch board. And let's go ahead and switch this to gypsum board. It's okay. Five and a half inch. I really don't need this membrane la layer either. Pretty much I'm dumbing it down to an interior wall that is just two gypsum board on each side. It's just my normal garage wall. I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment below.